It's important when trading the markets to have the right trading psychology. We're well, joining us now with some more analysis of just what this means and how one approaches this part of the all-important uh, aspect of trading is Lee Sanford, a technical analyst and founder of tradingcollege.co.uk. Uh, Lee, welcome. First of all, um, to, to your mind, how important is psychology in the process of trying to make money out of markets? Very important. Uh, I think it is the most important thing uh, for a retail trader um, to be a consistently profitable trader. I think there's a lot of things, um, trading psychology has been books written about it. I think um, times have changed. I think we know more about the mind and mindset uh, and I obviously coach lots and lots of people so I've got a good database and understanding of what uh, a trader goes through. So psychology is, is huge, Jeremy, it really is. Where does this sit with a trading strategy? Um, it, it's part of the process of m making a consistent profit. The strategy is part of it, but I think the strategy is about 25%. Now people will say, well, you know, 25, I, people look for good strategies, people look for strategies that make 80% winning trades. Um, and I think strategy, the strategy, the strategy that people use is a small part of the success profile or the success journey of any trader. So uh, the big question is, is why do traders fail? What is the, the mindset that brings about failure? Well, um, we obviously haven't got uh, all day to talk about this, but I think it's lack of practice. And I think, um, you know, any professional business or skill that somebody wants to achieve they have to go through a series of practice, feedback, and and then performance. Um, you know, whether you learn to play golf, learn to play tennis, learn to play a guitar, musical instrument, anything, you have to practice. And I think people look for a trading strategy or a system, think that's the holy grail, and then they don't practice that. Especially for a new trader. If you're a brand new trader and you come into trading the live markets, you've not seen live markets performing before and suddenly you get spooked and you do silly things, you, you, know, you take your profits too quickly, you don't have a stop loss in, you over trade and things like that. I think practice is so important and I think in trading people get told to place trades in a demo account to start with um, and maybe just use the demo just to get, fill them w their way around the, the, the brokerage but I think it's done incorrectly. You talk as well about uh, levels of learning, what do you mean by this? Well, it's the it's the old you know incompetence um, you know uh, competent they can't you know the, they don't know what they don't know at the start um, and then that process of working their way through they get to the next level where they they, they realise they don't know um, you know what trading's all about and they need to learn how to trade and then they get to the next level where they know what to do uh, but they're still thinking about placing the trade and the strategy and then you've got to get to that higher stage where you're not even thinking, you know exactly what to do, and that's where the professionals are at. They, they don't need to think, they know the strategy and they just execute the strategy. There is a journey. Uh, it's very difficult to go from complete beginner where you, you don't know what you don't know, you know to you know, the, the, the top part of the, uh, of the learning process. What, what are, the, what are, the, what are the, the mile, uh, the, 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 the signposts, if you like, along that journey of, of transferring the practice from becoming one that is approaching it from a very, um, uh, they're consciously uh, uh, thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. thinking about it to, to be able to do it unconsciously. Um, practice and feedback with a coach. Absolutely no question about it. You need a coach to give you that feedback and you need to spend time at the screens watching live markets. Um, if you're somebody that's trading a swing trader, I would certainly put you down to a one minute chart in a demo account and execute the trade as quick as possible to train your brain that your conscious brain that you, you know that this sets up and it's happening fast um, and, and then it's all about feedback um, and, and a lot of people when they first start out and they do go into a demo account to practice is they think of the result to start with and the result for a strategy is the the least important thing at the start okay don't worry about the results Worry about or work on the entry of a trade. Start with that. There's the entry of this strategy. Work on the entry. Forget the re result to start with. And then the next thing is entry stop. Where are you going to place your stop? Here's my entry. Here's my stop. 
Don't think about the result. Do you know 50 of those in a demo account. And then after that, start to look at results. But people think of results too quickly. And we hear feedback that they got in at the wrong price, they got in the trade incorrectly, and they didn't follow the strategy. Every strategy has a process, um, and you've got to be good at each of those processes. And you also say, obviously, consistency is, is of paramount importance as well. Applying the same rules along, along the way, you talk about the technical, the mental, and the biological. What do you mean by those three? Yes, um, consistency is repeating um, good behaviors, good patterns, the good strategy where you can make a consistent profit. Now, when a trader isn't making a consistent profit, they will then turn to the technicals, which is a new strategy, a new system. They go looking for the holy grail. That's technical. The system or the strategy might be very good. It's just that the human being cannot execute that strategy. Um, so somebody has to look, and it's difficult at first when you're you know, to be hard on yourself, uh, but it's about being aware. It's maybe you're the person that's letting the strategy down. So that's the technical side of it. The strategy might be very good, it's just that you're not very good at following the strategy yet. Um, and then there's the mental side of it, you know, the consistency, having that level head where, you know, a bit of self-talk, you know, if you make a losing trade, you're not a bad person. Um, and it's just about progression. And the mental side of it is huge, just talking yourself positive things to you know to yourself um, and being consistent if you have good winning days it's not great I'm not the best trader in the world you know I'm not I've cracked this because you never stop learning in trading and if you have a bad day it's you know okay I want to still learn I want to progress and then there's the biological side of things with traders and that is that why can't I change I keep making the same mistakes over and over again and you know, I see some people that come to me that have been doing this for five or six years and they keep on making the same mistakes. Well, that may not be technical and it may not be mental, but it's biological that the person, maybe due to their personality and their profile of personality, that they find it really difficult to trade a certain way and people get stuck in the same habits. We've got to move them away from their personality into another personality, which uh, takes a bit of coaching and guidance, really. Yeah. What's your trading setup look like in your, in your office? I mean, it, it, uh, you hear about these people that spend 12 hours in front of a screen not moving. Um, you know, they've got to be drinking drinks that help them sustain themselves and so forth. Clearly, that's not a particularly good way to go about it. How do you set yourself up physically? Um, well, two years ago, I got myself a, uh, a stand-up desk and literally press a button, the desk comes up. So that's good for myself, uh, keeping up posture, you know, upright. And I think, it's, you know, we sit back, we've all got nice chairs, we sit back, we look at our screens, and we, we arch over. Um, I think people should just sit back a little bit more, look at the bigger picture on charts, and, and certainly go for more walks. Um, I think if, you've come, if you come into your trading room in the morning, and something in your personal life has happened which is negative, you come into trading with maybe a revenge type, you know, mentality here today and it's not going to be good. You've got to trade, I think, and in my experience, from a clear mind if you can do, because you'll make better decisions. And, and you know, the coffee, I love coffee, and it's not good drinking coffee uh, all day long. It's water. And, you know, if you're drinking water throughout the day, what does that do? Then it makes you go to the bathroom more often, which is actually quite a good thing, I would suppose, because it gets you away from the screen. Mm. So lots and lots of water. Um, and maybe you use a stand-up desk like I've got. They're not expensive. They come down dramatically these days. You can get a stand-up desk. Good for posture, good for, uh, good for um, you know, your health. Lee, we've got to leave it there. Thanks indeed uh, for joining us. That's uh, Lee Sanford, technical analyst and founder of tradingcollege.co.uk. Subscribe to IG for educational content, company insight, financial analysis and expert commentary.